Hello viewers, it's Super GT once again. We're taking out the ultimate noob wagon. It's the Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale. So yes, that does confirm that I am a total noob. But this isn't any old Alfa. This is a 701 rated Alfa, as you can see here. So we're going to give away 99 PI, which is the maximum you can give away in a lobby. So I am severely underpowered. Yes, it is an Alfa. But this thing handles like crap in this tune that I made. I'll put it together really quickly. So let's see what we can do around Rio, other than go into the back of this pileup, into the Celine, and somehow I get pushed through all of it. And well, I'm just gonna grind against the wall and then lose all my speed and go back down into 18th. Now this is gonna be one of those races where anyone who loses to me has to snap their disc. Let's go into the second big corner. More carnage as per usual. Now Mugen actually pointed out in the previous video that if you don't have a disc, you might have the digital edition. In which case, obviously you can't snap your disc. You'll have to snap your Xbox instead. So there's quite a lot on the line here as we go into the tunnel and into the back of a spinning BSE mono. More carnage. People just pushing everyone on. There's nowhere anyone can go, and I'm into the wall. McLaren has pushed around there. And we're just going to take a look at this for a second. This doesn't happen often, but I'm in dead last place. So, well, take that in for a second. Back up into 20 seconds briefly, but then coming down the hill here, well, they have deployed smoke screen, it seems, and it's worked effectively because I just could not see anything at all. Now, this is something I've always um, hated in this game, the fact that there's so much tyre smoke. I guess it is kind of realistic if you do spin your car, it does create smoke, but it, it, it just creates so much carnage where one person spins, deploys a smoke screen and then everyone else crashes into the back of them. So it's something they should consider changing maybe for Forza 7 or just toning down a little bit. So then 20th, down into 21st, so I'm actually last again. So um, it's really not going very well at all. At the moment I think I'm going to have to be the one who snaps my own disc or Xbox. And then take a look at this. Totally unforced error. I just drive into the wall like a complete bandit. That is just sheer lack of skill, I guess. And then through, uh, through here on lap two, getting one position and then uh, skipping to lap three. We're back in a fight here. In 19th of 21, we're going to go for a very untidy overtake on the Viper. Carry on going though. Just about grinding off the wall using any noob tactic we can to keep ahead of these guys. Now we have a couple of guys spun out here, ghosted out, so we have a chance of beating a few more people. We're in 17th of 21. Can we gain any more positions from here? As it stands, four people will have to be snapping their Xbox or disc uh, come one more lap time. So uh, this Ferrari doing his best to try and get back through. He does not want to snap his new Xbox One S that he got for Christmas. But then these guys slowing each other down. What are they doing? Up into fifth deep. A couple of guys behind me now who are not going to be very happy in about two minutes' time. Coming down into the second corner. Can we get it through here safely? Probably not because these guys are going to go flying into the back of me. We are into the wall at full-on speed there. I would be dead in real life. Luckily, it's just a game though. Four cars directly ahead. Now, I want to get through as many of these as possible and it's going to happen because well that many cars this close to each other something is going to kick off Viper into the Viper it's a Viper generation battle the newer one gets forced into the wall though the older one carries on going and then we're going to deploy another smoke screen I'm slowing down moving to the left hand side just about to get through lucky that time how's a drag race with the Viper going down the hill I'm going to bail out of this one I don't really fancy going side by side with him coming down the hill so I'm going to give him this one. But then coming through the left hander at the bottom. Well he's, he's going to get a poor exit. And I'm through into 14th. Almost going to that wall. This car handles so weirdly I must say. I think I definitely have to perfect this tune. For, um, well it, it's just awful. You can see that it's bouncing all over the place. So yes it is an alpha. But it's a crap alpha tune by me. They've wiped each other out. Coming through the final corner here. That's going to be the end of the race. Because we finished so far behind. I actually did not finish. 
But there we go, there's a list of people who has to snap their Xbox, anything below my name. So unlucky to you guys. If you see your name, please do it now. I will be checking. Now this is a completely unrelated incident. Going to the first corner of Catalonia short. Whoa, that guy forgot that we were doing the short version. Goes flying off. Let's look at that again. Just completely forgot to break. Just luckily he did not collect anyone else. So then we bring ourselves to Belgium to the Spa Francorchamps circuit in the Alpha again. Let's see what we can do around a wet circuit into the last source hairpin. Oh whoa, well, there we go. Kai uh, almost trying to take off there on another Apollo mission. So we're down to the last place briefly. Now 16th. Uh, 17 people in total. So 16 others I can beat and uh, reduce the population of Xbox owners once they snap their console in half. This guy almost coming across, just breaking in time, through um, through a rouge. This guy's going to come flying across, and I'm going to have to resort to going into almost the tyre wall, coming back on the track in 8th place. Has actually not gone too badly as we come up the Kemmel straight. We're going to look behind here. You can see just how much speed I'm giving away. I just have no chance against the Ferrari 458 there. As we go into the braking zone, probably the brakes are the best thing on this car, it seems. It was the easiest thing for me to deal with. The handling is pretty much off. The uh, powers, the acceleration's all right, I guess. It's just the top speed, it has none. Not in this class, not this rating. Ferrari's just going to whack off that guy. Uh, obviously blindsided there, but really should be uh, seeing that he was there. Now coming down into the long right hand I've gone up the inside again of the Ferrari gaining back my eighth place around lap number one coming up towards Blanchimod the car just doesn't want to turn at high speed coming through the apex in eighth place still a couple of guys off on the side a Viper and a McLaren I believe this uh, Viper is going to come through back into seventh place or into sixth place I'm going to take my sixth place back briefly but then the Viper is going to go back into the back of the Chevrolet that was not a nice move at all. And then cut the corner just to rub it in, you know. And then coming up the main straight in 8th place. We're going to get swarmed both sides here. McLaren and a Viper into the first turn. The F1 GT there is going a couple of positions. I'm going to make a bit of contact there with the Capri. Not the cleanest driving of all time. And then going into the back of the Viper. Just backing out enough though so we don't spin. Then we're going to come flying downhill towards a Rouge in ninth place. As it stands, quite a few people are going to get beat up into the uh, Eau Rouge through the uh, Amazon River at the bottom there. And then the Ferrari is going to come out of nowhere and collect me like an absolute moron. So we're going to try and do our best to beat this guy. That is my number one mission for the rest of this race. So we're going to tuck into the slipstream up the straight. At the end of the straight, he's in a battle with the other guy there. And he's just going to go through the puddle. Oh, no, he's going to go completely off the track. And they're coming through the right-hander. Not a very good entry line from him. He's going to go through the puddle on the inside. He's going to throw him wide. He's going to get barely any momentum on the exit. And I'm going to go for a lunge on the brakes. The brakes are decent in this car. Through another massive river on the entry there. And I'm back through into 8th place. It's a repeat of the previous lap. And then taking this line nicely. Avoiding the puddle on the inside. And getting decent power on the exit. Now, a couple of corners later... This guy just simply could not handle my pace. And then there we go. I made him leave. In a 701 rated Alpha in S-Class. That's pretty good going. He just could not handle the pace at all of my crappy Alpha. But there we go. At the end of the race. Coming through to finish in 8th. Only 1, 2, 3, 4 people getting beaten. Well actually, I technically I made all those people quit. Yeah, I definitely made them quit. So we can we can say that they have to break their console as well. But there we go. The end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. As always guys, do hit the like button if you did. And stay clean, stay away from the noobs. Until next time, when I hope you can join me in my next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.